all you need for this little math game or activity is a little set of hooks. You can use any that you like. I just got this one. I wanted them actually separate, but this is what I found, so it, it works just as good. I have this little plastic sheet from an old box that I just cut the lid off, and so I glued it on top. And then in the back here, I just put a taped a piece of paper. And before taping it on, I wrote some little addition problems for my little boy. What's very handy with this is you can use this over and over again. You just change the paper in the back. It takes you one moment to write down. You can do the different sounds or you can do number problems. And so every time he got it right, he would build it with his little rods, five plus one, and he would tell me the answer. If he got it right, he got to put a little rubber band on top of the hook. And he went to the next one, three plus three is six, and he put a rubber band. So he not only put a rubber band when he got it right, he also crossed it out so that he knew which one he was on. And he had fun doing that. And if you use a whiteboard marker, then you can reuse it again and you won't have to waste anything. So that's a fun little activity you can do with your child using a little set of hooks, rubber bands. Another idea was to hole punch some little papers and they can fit right through the hooks or with a little string. But this one was even more easy and handy and I didn't have to come up with little papers or little pictures or the answers. He told me the answer and then he got to put his little prize and at the end and then he got them all right. There had to be three on each and then we counted by threes. So try to use anything you have, any little opportunity for teaching. Not just addition, you can teach skip counting, you could do um, colors, shapes, and it was loads of fun.